Oh hi, today we're looking at installing uh, Fedora 19 which came out there on in a beta version, beta 1. Go to fedora.org, I'll leave everything in the description and um, you'll see here the beta is now available. And you can see I just installed the live image, direct download our um, BitTorrent and um, you can have the KD version, 32-bit, 64-bit, the XFCE desktop, the LXDE desktop, and we've got Mate as well, and Cloud Images. Great selection. Next thing we installed was VirtualBox. We opened the Ubuntu Software Center and just searched for VirtualBox. And you see it here. I already have it installed, just put, um, hit the install there, put in your password, let it install. Open the dash home then, just type in virtual, that's virtual box there. I just dragged it to the dash home. We'll open that now and we're going to install Fedora. This is the live ISO file, the live CD. And we call it Fedora. 19 and beta go next i'm going to give it uh, one gig of ram it's plenty uh, create a new virtual drive now we'll create that a vdi virtual box disk image dynamically allocated so you can change the size of it later i'm going to give it uh, 20 gigabytes and that's created now I'm going to go into settings, into our display, I'm going to change our video display to 128 megabytes, enable 3D acceleration. Um, we're using a quad core processor, so we, I can give it two cores and leave two cores then for the main system. Even though it's telling me you're, you're not optimal there, but we can give it two cores, it's fine. And um, click OK, then click Start. Uh, the right control key is your host key. It captures the mouse in or out. There it is. Click start. It'll read the ISO image from the desktop. And you can see, um, I'm going to capture again. Start Fedora Live. It's just mouse integration. You can try or install, and um, we're going to hit install. I'll show you how to install it. Click the install now to the hard drive. And again, um, here we are. So we're going to go English United States. Click continue. I'll accept my face. So this is, um, we're waiting for the machine now to, so localization, storage, keyboard. So this is very easy. Automatically partition our selectors. You can clip on that, it's 20, 21 gig um, drive. And um, I think we're okay here. Just click on done. So we're using the whole virtual box drive. Automatically configure my Fedora, that's the easiest way out of it. And there it goes. So, a um, small bit of uh, confusion. We have to set a root password now and user creation as well. You better if we did it in a, a linear version that you could go from one box to the next. You know, put in your password. So we're going to have to, once it's in right here, we have to put in a password now. So this is just our root password. A big capital letter in there. And uh, no user. A user, just put in our user, a username. Password for them. I'm going to use the same password as the root password, so there's no confusion. 
It's a fair password. That'll do me. Now it's installing the software. Now it's installing the bootloader. Again, we're waiting for this to finish. And now it's complete. So far, so good. Creating the users, and it's complete. So we're going to quit on this. Now we need to reboot the system. We go into devices, and you can see it's set on the Fedora Live CD. So we're going to, going to I'm just going to select um, the CD drive. I'm going to force on mount. I'm going to power it off. Now, there's two ways you can power it off. Devices and machine and just close. I just power off your machine. It'll just force off the machine, no harm done. And we'll open it again. And we should hit start now. It'll it won't boot from the ISO file we installed. It'll it'll boot it'll just boot the normal Fedora. There you are. And Linux 3.9.2. We click enter. We're just gonna boot it for the first time. Put in our password then. There we go. Again, we let the desktop load up. And you see you can select your language again. And we click next. UK, we're going to select this time for the language. We're not going to click we're going to um, skip that and the computer is ready to use so a few small settings had to be done turn my volume up a little bit and this is the GNOME help or the GNOME help <laughs> very good so that's great, I love that Great for new users. It's a bit, you can see it's a bit laggy. I think because we're running on a virtual box and um, there's no um, virtual box guest editions installed. You can install the guest editions here. So um, in the next video, we might do a quick video on how to install the guest editions in Ubuntu. And we're going to shut down from here. Don't forget to use your control key. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.